everyone doing? Doing well. Fantastic. 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 Fantastic.
So the fact that he was even, that he even said it, is it's not a shock to us anymore. No, it's not. The shock is over. No, it's, it is. I'm I mean, I'm going Mendes to read real quick out. what uh, Bob Mendes said, yeah, and uh, allow me if you can. I don't think the senator is ignorant of the fact that for centuries in this country, white supremacy has thrived on using fear to justify oppression, discrimination, mm -hmm. and violence against people of color. Mm -hmm. I do, however, think my colleague may be ignorant of the pain caused mm -hmm. by his comments and unaware of how they compound the trauma that so many still feel in the wake of the events of January 6th. Mm. Mm. I, I don't you, that's you, even even with it though it, I appreciate mm -hmm. him. I do. Calling saying him out. It. I do. Well, can we appreciate I, Johnson for yeah, calling him oh, out? Oh, I appreciate him for calling out, but we already they, know this. Yeah, we but, know they, this but, they, but they don't call each other out now. They, let's they, keep they, it. They, let's keep it real. They, they Democrat not, or Republican. You don't see that. You don't see them saying another person look like him. They especially in the same race. Especially in the same race. I call each other out. I appreciate that, but it just shows us that we are threat. We here here it is. We, we were we were protesting threat. and fighting <laughs> for Black Lives Matter. Mm -hmm. We were protesting to stop being killed. Mm -hmm. And here it is. They were trying to overthrow the government. Of mm -hmm. course. Yeah. Because they didn't like who we voted for. Yeah. And we like, know they if it was did, blacks, it would have been two different, different dynamics. Right. And they mm -hmm. did what Black Lives Matter has never done before. Black Lives Matter protests, but it's peaceful. Yeah. They've mm -hmm. never broken Absolutely. anything. But real quick, we have to move to this confused <laughs> one, Ben Carson, <gasps> oh. who is actually likening uh <laughs> and why are you saying conservatives to <laughs> runaway slaves mm -hmm. i mean because i've never when he became a politician he just lost me yeah i remember while i was still in africa reading his book think big and i said oh my god i would love to meet this man one day when i go <laughs> to america when i came to america i said oh my god what did, <laughs> what did i read <laughs> i don't think he's i don't think he's the same person no, yeah. he's not. Uh, he's changed. He's changed a lot. And for him to stand here and think that, oh, my own people are turning against me, I, I, I'm like, you need to stop. It's crazy. He, uh, he reminds no. me of that guy that, that was over the um, Black Lives uh, for Trump. The guy that was oh. over that that <laughs> didn't believe in COVID and then he turned around and died from COVID. Yes. What was that? Uh, it, it, yeah, it just... <laughs> <laughs> it, it, yeah, him. It just reminds me of situations like that. It's, mm -hmm. just, it's just crazy. You can see it for yourself, but you still want to say something else. You don't. It's like I, I don't know how how are we runaway slave like girl. But for Ben Carson, I'm a little bit shocked because if you look at his history, even when he writes in his book and he's talking about his upbringing, mm -hmm. how poor he was as a black man. Exactly. For him to go mm -hmm. ahead, be the head of heart and not do anything for black people and really be so, so, so. Is this Candace Owens' daddy? Uh, they are related. We oh. think that, but we think they run away slaves, right? Yeah. We think they want to raise slaves. They got to be run away. I'm just saying as black people like you you we think yeah. they want to raise slaves, right? Mm -hmm. Because oh how can you goodness. how can you agree with someone mm -hmm. and they abuse you and they neglect mm -hmm. you and they brutalize you you're and they still, brainwash you're, not you're so still he, the slaves. Not in his mind. But he's not, saying not that they, but mind. he's saying that that's what he said. He said that him and black conservatives. Mm. He saying they're runaway slaves because they're abused and they're made examples of. But you allow yourself to be made example of. Mm -hmm. You know, some runaway mm -hmm. slaves go and be free. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you're not going to be free. You and Captain, I, hey, that's You run into another plantation. That, yeah, exactly. You know the, the problem I have with him, too, the, the biggest is that the fact that he said George Floyd, George Floyd was an isolated incident. Mm -hmm. That is sickening. Tamar. Br uh, Breonna Taylor, mm -hmm. was that an isolated? Mm. Oh, you mean Tamir? Tamir, Tamir, yeah. oh, Tamir and Tamar. Right. Mm -hmm. Those mm -hmm. are not isolated. Blacks yeah. are gunned down every day. How is that pervasive well, isolation? Well, they're not gunning him down. Doesn't make so sense. He, he doesn't think of it that way because he's not living in the situation a lot of black people are. Oh, absolutely are. not. My question to me, to him, is do you think that non-conservatives are here swimming in privilege where we are just hula hala and we are like, okay, life is good. Mm -hmm. No, you have to be so... He's out of touch. It's far out of touch to where to touch. You, you... I can't just believe some of the things that you say to the point where we all saw when he was in that elevator mm -hmm. and things were just not making sense because he doesn't know what black people are going through. Anyway, up next is What's Brewing. Stay tuned.
Welcome back. It's What's Brewing. And in Black Brilliance, we celebrate Alena Wika, 12-year-old from Arizona, who's set to begin college at Arizona State University at the end of the year. And she wants to work for NASA. Congratulations. We wish you all the best in whatever you do in life. And up on this one, <laughs> Candice Owens and Cardi B are mm. back at it again on oh. Twitter. But this time, Candice Owens says she's going to lawyer up, but Cardi B was like, no problem, honey. I got the coins for your lawyer. <laughs> yeah, she got that 25 million at her account. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you she guys know leave. my sentiments about Candice Owens. Cuz. Well, I can she say this. I'm, I'm proud of Cardi B for mm. being so How political. Um, mm. During the, uh, the, the election, she really used her platform to really get these young kids to get out there and vote. And she not only did she do that, she really showed the why mm. it's so important for mm -hmm. us to vote. And we need more individuals like that in our community to use that platform. Because these are people that have like millions, millions and millions, millions and millions of people following them. Yeah. And just one little thing can convince these these kids or these followers to, to do what they need yeah, to children. do. And we mm -hmm. need that in this day and time to, to get these, um, to get individuals in, in seats like that we need. Yeah. Um, as far as this whole thing, I have to say this. Look, don't be talking about my best friend. Mm. Part of me kind of understands what Candace was saying. From which points? Please. And which part of Expound you? Expound. I just understanding. I I I, I, I think sometimes uh, in today's music, it has mm -hmm. gotten so saturated with sex. And what business and of that Giselle. is Candace Owens? But it, I, I'm serious. Mm -hmm. I, I, and I'm mm -hmm. a person, I love to show my body and this. I love to uh -huh. do that. But sometimes the message takes away from the music sometimes. Mm. Okay. And I'm a person that likes good music. I ah. like good music. I, I like 70s music. I like 80s music. Ah. Music that has substance to it. Just mm -hmm. I'm serious. It's over-sexualized. It, it, sometimes it is. Uh -huh. Like, like honestly, like, even when I listen, I love Megan Thee Stallion, but sometimes when I listen to her music, I'm like, gosh, does she have anything I, good I to say about me? No, that. best friend, hold yeah. on, best friend. Yeah. You better yeah. tell me to hold so on. I, wait so I can't up. understand what Candace yeah. was coming from. Uh -huh. No, I don't. I, 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 no, 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 no. Hold on, best friend. Go I want to say this real quick. I've always said yes, WAP was a little bit very racy. But at the end of the day, mm -hmm. what business of yours is it to go and sit at an interview and mm -hmm. say that, oh, this is terrifying. It's I think parents should be terrified that this is the direction that our society is heading towards. Nobody mm -hmm. asked you about that performance. You've had a Kit Kat go back mm -hmm, and forth mm -hmm. with Cardi B. What business? If you are a parent, here is what I'm going to tell all the parents there, and you feel like the music playing on the TV is not for your children, switch it off. Mm -hmm. I, I understand that, but this you is know, so I, I understand that, but this, but this is on, but this is on, this is on public TV. This is not yeah. cable okay. TV. Yeah, yeah. I, okay. I have to agree Go with ahead. you, but I will say this. I will say this. I want Cardi to stop taking the bait. Okay, she's baiting her. That's, That's true. That's all it is. It's bait. Mm. She knows that her numbers is she going to went, go absolutely. up. So she knows That's very true. who she's going to yep. go and attack. And it's always Cardi B because Cardi B Cardi has, has a larger millions. platform than Candace. It's only bait and switch. That's all it is. Yes, she, she may just, agree. Mm -hmm. She absolutely probably does feel that way. But she's going to keep doing it. And and what I don't agree with the lawyer up thing, they both talked about each other's husband. Mm -hmm. it, it was back and forth. It was back and forth. So yeah. the lawyer the lawyer thing should be out of it. The whole, the whole premise of it, mm -hmm. she's going to keep baiting Cardi. Mm -hmm. And I want Cardi to Or anybody to stop that has up, a platform. But especially Cardi B. Mm -hmm. She Where loves from? the dialogue. Where y'all from? What you mean? Right. I'm saying about the music. Oh, I think it's because, too much. Listen, I definitely think listen, it's too much. So that means y'all ain't never heard music back in the day that was nasty and vulgar. I can't it listen. Was, listen, listen no, it, it was, but it was No, 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 no. Music back in the day insinuated. No, 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 no. It wasn't the same. No, no, no. It wasn't the same. And I'm telling you, I'm going to have my cousin 
Send me some music today. Okay. And when we get off the set, but I'm going to let you listen to it. And it was back in the day, and it's the same nasty music. But here's the difference. It's the back, same nasty music. But, but the platform difference. was different. A hundred and something million people were listening to it Not only the platform, you had radio versions. It's different now. It's completely different. At that time, those lyrics Child. couldn't be on radio. They were marked explicit. FCC regulations exactly. changed shove in 1996. Shove it up, shove it down, move it, it in, move it around. It's no longer it's, it's, it's not. My whole thing it is, was nasty, but you had to think about it. If it's you don't want to listen to it, turn it off. I don't listen to Cardi B. I don't listen to Meg The Stallion. But you don't hear me out here complaining about these girls and their music because that's their hustle and this is what they do. I don't talk about it. It is. I don't hustle. listen it, to it. It is their hustle, but it's it doesn't. But, it, it, it's but, a it's a but it's she a has problem. a problem. Don't it's listen to problem. it. She does have a point. She doesn't have a point. There's, there's a point. Think about she, think about the demographic that listens to these girls. They're not putting this music towards adults. It's towards teens. It's towards the social media. It's towards our yeah, generation. Yeah. It's not. Uh, it's not towards adults. So they, if you know yeah, your marketing, yeah, yeah, yeah. I listen that to. I listen like, to. I, it. Like, I think I it's a problem. I don't like the fact that the, the sometimes, sometimes for an adult listening to it, we mm. know better. But, what, but not for, a young for person. children listening to it, and children have ways of finding out how they oh, yeah. want. I know when I was a kid, I knew how to find out and find and do what I want to do and see mm -hmm. what I want to see, and the message that it. It, it comes across as children. Wrong. I don't. It's like, I think it's, it's degrading. It's I think degrading. it's degrading. Yeah. It, 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 it molds me, these kids me, to think that that's how the world should work. No. Me as a, growing you up, a, I was. I grew mm -hmm. up in Africa, y'all, and I, we were listening to R. Kelly. R. Kelly was, was singing all the bump and grind and grind on but you. But bump and, and grind, bump and different. grind. Not to me, it was wet. The, that's a, different. Mm. But nobody don't want no driving anyway. Why no? So but a girl's lying or what? It, you, want no you had to, anyway, you so had to at least so think, you had to at least think about what bumping <laughs> and grinding so means. No, you so ain't gotta think okay, about yeah, what bumping and grinding thing. is. Stop if, it. If, if it was a person no who was not Candace Owens who has said it, I'd have received it differently. Because on this table, well, we say have that. About Snoop say Dr. that, but don't say she wrong mm. for what she said. I know she, she was because she was, at the end of the day, this is a person. Hold on, this is a person who has sat here and talked. We know what she has said, but that does not mean. That what she did that they don't mean what she but said doesn't have any know validity. If you are black and if you are spending your that, time castrating black people and making black people I understand who that. are you to why are you listening to I, black girls? So, so music it would it would have been alright if Michelle Obama said something. And no, Michelle, oh, yes, and Michelle, no, no, no. Yes, it would have. And Michelle would have been queen, too. If Michelle Obama would have said it, then anyway, y'all would have been seen the other side of the rainbow. But now y'all want to see the other side of the rainbow. I, 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 no, no, I would have told her to be quiet, too. Exactly. Don't listen to it. But you know Sasha Malia listened to it. WAP. Exactly. And you you heard her sing it on Twitter. And the whole world was like, they're adults. But then we talk about it. Sasha and Malia are adults. But then we turn around and wonder why girls are going to hell. We got to move on to Viola Davis. At least we got to give a minute of our time because this nonsense with Candace Owens and Cardi B. Cardi B, sing whatever you want to sing, honey. And Absolutely, because I'm going to be she performing to it. it. If you well, don't want to listen to it, it's, it's for me. It's not for young people. I don't care how boring it is. I'm going to perform to it. But kids. You don't want to no. listen to the music? Parents, Turn it off. Viola Davis makes history mm. for the most nominated black woman. I am just so excited about this. Maybe people can <laughs> breathe now. Congratulations. Girl. Even though, you know, I can't, I'm Davis. so happy for her for her Oscar nomination. Mm. You know, even though I know she's not going to. Don't say oh, that. Don't say that. Yeah. Yeah. Don't true. say it out loud. But, but it was a phenomenal a performance, truth, and she deserves it. Mm. She is our 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 Glenn Close, our uh, uh, Mel yeah, Street. Mel Street. She's mm -hmm. all of those people wrapped in one. Uh, and and I'm just she, yeah. she, she is going to win. win. Only nineteen. <laughs> no, no, Andre Day is going to win. Only but, nineteen uh, black actors and oh. actors have won. Mm -hmm. That is sickness. Since yeah. nineteen twenty nine. Mm -hmm. Only one mm -hmm. black actress. Mm -hmm. Only that one. We take this day. Huh? If she win, we'll take Miss Day too. Yeah, we'll take Miss Day. Mm -hmm. Out of 93 Terrible. years, we sure will. Terrible. But she said something important. I might not say the exact way that she said because I'm paraphrasing. She says that, yes, you can call me on the phone and call me the black Meryl Streep, but mm -hmm. you are not paying me as much. Absolutely. Yeah. You I are not giving that. me roles like Meryl Streep, mm -hmm. and you are not treating me like Meryl Streep, so we have to do better. I mean, that's why I agree with Jada Pinkett. Boycott the Oscars. Up next is Style Check. Stay tuned.
Hello and welcome back. Today on Style Check, we talk Zendaya and Halle Berry. Come on, Katrina, take it away. Mm, yeah, and I don't know why they forget about Mr. Handsome John David. If you don't know who he is, that's Denzel Washington's son. So yes, oh. we are talking, oh, isn't he sexy? And mm -hmm. uh, we are talking about Zendaya and John David are on the cover of W Magazine, Hollywood Glam, and they look so beautiful and elegant. Mm -hmm. It's like they, they just felt like this was a wrong, um, a right making a wrong, because we've never really seen two black actors mm -hmm. on cover of a magazine that all of this glam. Mm -hmm. And they play in Malcolm and Maria. If you haven't seen Malcolm and Maria, you need to see Malcolm mm -hmm. and Maria. It's deep and intense about a yeah. toxic relationship. Very. It is. I didn't understand it, but I, I hope I will understand it when I give birth to the baby. You know, when you drink some wine, you can understand anything. But <laughs> when old Hollywood glam. Well, yes. let's, let's look at the pictures of the old Hollywood glam. Let me glam. tell you, this mm -hmm. boy, man, man, I love his man. father. Mm. So whatever he does is an offspring. Oh, that's of him right there. Yeah, yes, that's him, David. Girl, oh, look, can't that's you see? Son. Son. He looks mm -hmm. like his mom. He looks he like, like his, his mama, mama. Yeah. walks like his father. Wow. If you only could get the Swag father's like height. Swag like his daddy, honey. Swag like his daddy. And he's going to age like his father. I love him. Yeah. I love this picture. But look picture. at this beautiful brown mm. that Zendaya is wearing. She's been really doing mm. her thing. She's been she really has. doing her she thing. She has, like, I have been seeing her in so many magazine covers, giving so many different looks. Yeah. Yes. Now, and I know, and we were talking about some intense, I know we were talking about style check, we were just talking about some intense stuff with Cardi B. Mm -hmm. If you looked mm -hmm. at Euphoria... That was intense for me. Mm, I haven't seen it. Oh, no, seen listen, you would be it. like, ooh, are they doing that? Oh, my God, these are teenagers. But, but we, anyway, but this she looks though. beautiful. <laughs> I'm just saying, look at it. But she looks beautiful in that brown. I love the, the mm. ruffle around her neck. I like the hair. Yes. And John David in that rough suit. All of it is amazing. Mm -hmm. The whole awesome. thing is absolutely mm. amazing. So yes. good. You know what I love about it? They kept it consistent to the movie theme which was really, really classy. Yes. Even though it was, and they did the black and white because it was in black and white. Uh-huh. It's awesome. Yes. I love it. I love everything about it. Yes, and yeah. I think I like, you know, it's it's in rare cases where you see the rusty color with a black tie. It's gorgeous. I think that was going out of mm. the bracket of fashion, but I do really like it a lot. Yeah. And uh, when you look at the black suit with a bow tie, I'm like, oh, honey, mm -hmm. give me that. I hope they don't date because that's my man. I was just going to say they look like a great couple. Yeah, let's go to the, next, to the <laughs> next one. And then we have to make sure we say the name of the movie um, correct, too. Maybe our um, producer can tell us in the, in the back. And this one is beautiful as well. You see um, Zendaya is in mm. a white gown, but you can't really see the gown and the slit on the side. Gorgeous. And John David looking sexy at her with a black suit hmm. and no tie. I don't know. I, I hope no love mm -hmm. spark is going to come out of it's, this. I'm the way that they played it. Now. The way that they <laughs> played it. Yeah. I'm getting a little jealous. I hope no love spark is coming out of this whole oh, party Oh, what? But well, I think she, you appreciate I think you appreciate it more, too, when you see young. the movie. She's really young. I the mean, movie is Malcolm and Mary. It's Malcolm, Malcolm yeah. and Mary. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what I wanted to say because I said Maria first. So it's Malcolm and Mary. Correction, Marie, people. Marie. 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 Malcolm and... Yes. Malcolm and Marie. Okay, so... All right. Malcolm and Marie. Mm -hmm. They got it. We got it. Thank mm -hmm. you for the correction. I appreciate it. All right, we're going to go on to the next look. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, people. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, honey, this is giving me That's London nice. look. Let's mm. go and watch the horses race. We're going to a polo game, and I'm just a rich Stepford wife, and I'll sit next to my husband. Well, really well nice. I love yeah, the line. They do. Uh -huh. they do. Uh -huh. I love it's, the line. It's really representative it of the good. movie. If you didn't see the movie, you got to watch it, because all of the pictures, mm -hmm. the fashion it's and so everything amazing. is actually from it. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. It's beautifully done. I mean, this boy is mm. sexy. I know. I need to stop Lord looking at God. him. He is handsome. Oof. Is he single? He old enough for me. No, they haven't been. <laughs> <laughs> that was an inside joke. Don't do that, Giselle. Don't you do that. We are no, not going to tell you. Don't do that. that. Wait a but let's, let's move on. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> don't uh -oh. Uh -oh. Put the next picture up. <laughs> the no, next picture, we please. are not going to do that today. <laughs> Oh my Ooh, goodness, honey. Mm, 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 mm. Well, we got to all look That's back so on this fun. one, baby. Mm -hmm. mm. 
I'm I don't you. know. That maybe, maybe their chemistry since the girl, movie. It's a photo shoot, girl. I it's know. a photo shoot. That, that movie it's looked acting. like chemistry. It's modeling. Though. The movie was deep. It's acting and modeling, but deep. still, chemistry is always good. So it they're still deep. in that mint girl. green. If you what? put me in front of him, we go like we in love too. But this is not the first time they've worked together I though. They, they went together shit. on uh, their last movie as well. What movie? The Greatest it? Showman. Oh, I so they've been there. Yeah. So chemistry mm. sometimes can start building. Oh, yeah. let's look. Oh, sure. Let's look at how Angelina Jolie took Brad Pitt mm. from Jennifer Aniston. But no, that's she didn't another take story. Him. He she wanted did. to leave. But All right, go. but anyway, they look nice in the mint. Mm -hmm. And that little yeah. baby dog dress, mm -hmm. and he looks gorgeous. Yeah. Oh my God, he's so handsome. I can't stop looking at that. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. He old enough for you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not go there. Ah, <laughs> that's it. That's all we have. <laughs> don't, don't do it, you uh, I'm not. That's <laughs> all we have for Ben Zendaya and John David. Congratulations on being on the cover of W Magazine. If you were in mm -hmm. the industry, you know, being on the cover of W Magazine is a Really big thing. And their stylists, uh, Roach, Law, and Samantha. Those are the stylists for John David and Zendaya. So congratulations on that. And we're going to move on to rate the look. You know, Halle Berry took the internet by storm mm -hmm. in the last few days in this Christian Siriano. Yes. And, you know, for her being two, having two babies and, what, she's 50? Yes. yes. That's what I'm trying to say. And First she of has all. a new boyfriend, too. She's Oh, she does? She and, really? happy. and so happy. Mm. She's attempting again. Okay. So happy. I don't think she should give up on love, if it's no. her or not. Mm -hmm. I mean, we all got Sometimes issues. Sometimes yeah. you have to give up if it's not sticking. That's all I'm going to say, but let's Well, move we're on. going to no. uh, rate the look. She it's looks gorgeous. gorgeous. So mm. I am going to, oh, let me rate. Everybody put it well, in there. Well, first of all, first of all, oh, yeah, I'm going to put this Go there. ahead. Put it in there. I, I definitely will wear this. I have stuff like this, and I'm just liking the fact that she's in her 50s, and her stomach looks like she's 16. So she gets oh. a 10 for that mm -hmm. automatically. But she works out regularly. Yes, oh, she my does. Gosh. I'm not that committed. She's very but committed. But I'm going to give her a 10. She with a, a happy smiley 10. face. And the reason I'm giving her a 10 is because she's over 50. Yep. She has accepted that she's over 50. Absol and absolutely. And she's telling people, I don't care mm -hmm. that I'm over 50, yep. but I'm still fine Fabulous. and I'm still sexy. And I still get custom made clothes when I do what I'm looking forward to 50, how these ladies look nowadays. Yes! 50 is a new what? I think I'm 40, giving 40. a 10 because this is how I'm going to look at 50. Oh! Mm -hmm. I gave mine already a 10. Mm -hmm. Yo, he gave her a 10. Yeah. And what you say, Candice? Definitely a 10. She looks gorgeous. I don't think Hallie can do any wrong. And I love the long hair. Mm -hmm. She looks gorgeous. She's always been a gorgeous mm -hmm. lady. I love her look. I mean, I, I, I've not been very a fan of her, her style because, you know, I don't know who her stylist is. But for this, I don't think she for has real, one for I really do. I mean, you know, it's her best friend, Lindsay. Oh, wow. Mm, okay, yeah. Lindsay. <laughs> you don't like her style? No, I've never liked Hilly Berry style. I like oh. her as a person, so I think she's mind-blowing gorgeous. Really? She's it's a gorgeous lady, but I don't like her style. She's not, I mean, she's not for me, but for other people, she's okay. gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we love Christian Siriano. He is doing a great job. He make all the ladies look great. Yeah. But that's all we have for Style Check today, and we'll be right back. Welcome back. It's Mind, Body, and Soul. Today we are talking self-talk. Success can actually be impacted by what you say to yourself. Like the Bible say, life and death are in the power of the tongue, ladies. Girl, you gotta I remember, your eyes like this. I, oh yeah. I remember, I remember when Giselle laughed at me when I told her that I talked to myself. Mm -hmm. Do you guys remember? I do. Mm -hmm. Okay, do tell. Mm -hmm. Do you talk to yourself? You. Yeah, I did. Uh, <laughs> but you gave we gave her a different revelation about yeah, that uh -huh. as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, oh, y'all want me to say, I don't, I, you know, huh? <laughs> you, you are, are, so are y'all thinking that I talk to myself now? No, I still don't talk to myself, but I did appreciate the, the, the revelation. Uh -huh. um, I don't know. I do motivate myself mm -hmm. um, a lot. I guess I guess mm -hmm. I can say I talk to yeah. myself because a lot of times when I go and um, compete in, for things or if I'm going to walk a ball or something like that, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes, or just in life in general, um, I could say this. Uh, recently I was talking so, to someone on the phone and they were talking about ballroom and, and stuff like that and talking about different 
um, other trans women that walk balls. And he was saying that the person was saying, oh, I don't really see it for Giselle. Oh. And that, mm. that's saying, like, you know, I don't really see her being a face beauty like or whatever. And so as he's telling me this, that started to, it started to, to saturate Seep into my, it did, yeah. it started to seep inside of my spirit. And I, and I started to really like second guess myself. And it was, mm. and I, it was right before I was about to go walk a ball that I walked this Saturday. And at first I, I let that just in my mind and I talked to my friend, I said, you know, I said the devil really is in my head mm. because I started to just like question the way that I look and mm. things like that. And I had to, I had to reassure myself. Mm -hmm. yeah. and I, had, I had to really get that chip off of me and I went and walked the ball and I won. It's almost mm -hmm. like you met it. You know, yeah. But she still yeah. won't let me you stand up. So the so same I, thoughts that were yeah. trying yeah. to keep was, you back. I these, had to, I had to get it off yeah. and I did have to talk to myself, you know, mm -hmm. and because we all have insecurities and, oh, yeah. and, 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 oh, yeah. and people can plant play things and, play yeah. on them and, and, and give, play and give, on and them. give us yeah. a complex. And I, yeah. and I, I, I grew up having complexes and I, mm -hmm. as an adult, I've, I've learned how to, to push away from those mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. So well, I that's good, good that you recognize yeah, it. Good. Yeah, it was good. on me strong too. It yeah. really was. No, with that's me, good. I think it goes back to the conversation I had with you the other time on social Friday. And mm -hmm. we were talking and we were talking about how, you know, growing up, people always tend to throw things in your life mm -hmm. and they mm -hmm. become you because they say them to you from the time you're yeah. a child. Yeah. Yeah. And for me, I think the self-talk began mm -hmm. because of that. Because mm -hmm. growing up, you know, being told, oh, she will mm -hmm. never be nothing. Mm -hmm. She will have a child at this age she'll be married right. at this age mm -hmm. she'll die of AIDS at this age mm -hmm. so I had a list of all the, even a though I had a list there. of my dreams mm -hmm. on this Jeez. side but I had a list of all these roadblocks I had to conquer because every time I tried mm -hmm. to go to another level those things come back mm -hmm. oh my god I am mm -hmm. at that age am I going to get a child mm -hmm. am I going to do what what's mm -hmm. next what mm -hmm. oh my god AIDS. Seeds. yeah they're so seeds. those seeds are starting to they try to germinate but then again you're like no 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 mm -hmm. that same mm -hmm. the same mud you threw on me covering that seed mm -hmm. yeah and that goes is actually going to help are. see it, yeah it, it, mm -hmm. and it, uh, how strong all of us are because mm -hmm. uh, even um with myself going through anxiety when I did I, I went through anxiety after finding one of my friends deceased and then after the pole shootings I started to have anxiety like mm. contractions mm. Mm. they would come like two and three every two and three minutes and mm. if you have one if you ever had one anxiety attack right. it throws your whole entire day off mm. and so I went to a doctor mm. and she told me everything that I was experiencing was normal because mm -hmm. I've experienced trauma. But it took for me mm -hmm. yeah. to have to talk to myself. So I to have talked to myself. So and yes, I, so to answer you just don't do yeah. so, so yes, I have talked to myself because I got myself over Together. having anxiety. Yeah. Yeah. Because when you mm -hmm. have anxiety, it makes you feel like it's the end it's of the world. It's yeah, heavy. it feels like the end of the it's world heavy. is happening. And I had to think to I had to tell myself. Giselle, what's the worst thing that's gonna happen? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's what? What's the worst? The worst that's gonna happen right now is you're gonna die. And if you die, you're not gonna feel nothing. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's true. And I, those little words is how I got over my anxiety. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's true. And I think when you hear talk to yourself, people probably think, well, "No, I don't talk to myself." It's crazy to talk to yourself. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. It's almost like affirmations. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. Yeah. Exactly. I, for me, I have to talk to myself. Mm -hmm. I have, I have to. to talk to myself mm -hmm. because growing up like like you, there's mm -hmm. been so many words. Words mm -hmm. spoken over me. Mm -hmm. And the only way to get past that is to pull them out. Mm -hmm. You got to get to the root of it. Mm -hmm. And it's important to be careful who you're around too. Mm -hmm. You know, people plant things without you Absolutely. even realizing oh, yes, it. They, they say will. little things. And then all of a sudden one day you're like, well, where did that come from? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's very important mm -hmm. to talk to yourself. I know mm -hmm. for me, I'm a mirror person. Mm -hmm. You know, I love to look at myself and say I am mm -hmm. because I feel I am cancels a lot Everything. of the negativity mm -hmm. that's spoken. Because if mm -hmm. I can believe that I am great mm -hmm. and I am sufficient and I am, then it, it takes care of all of that mm -hmm. negativity. The, the, the most important is the words after the I am. Oh, because absolutely. Because if you are speaking life with absolutely. your I am, yes, it's going to cancel. But if you're also speaking death with I am, mm -hmm. oh, that's I why I've death. told so many people, you mm -hmm. never hear me say I am broke. No. And I even, no. people who talk to or my children, 
or I'm sick, or even people, I don't allow uh -uh. people to say certain things to my kids. Uh -uh. I don't mm -hmm. care how, oh, your child is, uh -uh -uh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. he's a child. You don't, you do not speak things yep. on my yes. children's life. Do it. And I'm don't constantly, go to work, curses, honey. Mm -hmm. it's true, and I'm constantly correcting my husband, because you sometimes they don't realize when they say things. Of course. And I'll jump, I'm like, don't say that. Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh my God. You're mm -hmm. planting that. You're of bringing course. that to life. When you speak that out of your mouth, you have now given the atmosphere and everything You have activated you. the GF you GPS have. of that thing. You and have. It it you. And you gave it authority. <laughs> of course. You give it authority. Yeah. So the same way life and death, mm -hmm. you can also get well mm -hmm. by speaking it. Of course. Yeah, so I, it goes I, both I ways. Talk to my, I talk to myself, but I think for me it's more... Of uh, for prayer for me, mm -hmm. um, and I always mm -hmm. say like I, I'm I'm just speaking. I speak the word to myself, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think that's what's really giving me power and authority. Mm -hmm. And that's why you know y'all know I always make fun. I'm like listen here, don't bother me. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I and I'm just like and that's just where I am because and I also and I do it for you all as well. So I don't look in the mirror. I don't do that because it's like I'm trying to get in the mirror, brush my teeth, and get mm -hmm. out. But that's just mm -hmm. all that's of that. That's my thing. And that <laughs> I don't want to do it. But I do mm -hmm. talk to myself. I do motivate myself. But I'm now since I'm getting a little older, I do it with the Word of God because that gives me power and strength. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so word curses and stuff like that. Listen, mm -hmm. they a lot of them come to me, but the, honey, they roll off like a, de a duck and water on the back, baby, because ain't nothing coming over here. Mm -hmm. But it is good mm -hmm. if you're a believer. Mm -hmm. I mean, because some people, you're a believer, it's good to speak mm -hmm. the word back Absolutely. to yourself. Yes. So that is me speaking to myself. Mm -hmm. You got to just do that and mm -hmm. be, mm -hmm. know, be about do it. Do the same thing. It's the same yeah. thing in med meditating. Of course. You're mm -hmm. meditating on the power of those thoughts, those good words. Yeah. You don't have to be circumstantial to everyone around you or your situation. Mm -hmm. You have the power to come out of it, but you got to speak yourself out of it. Mm -hmm. You got to believe yourself. it. Yeah. And always guard your ear your oh. ear gates because your that's where you and your you eyes as well. To. You have to. Yeah. So be careful what you put yourself or surround yourself with. And remember, you can speak a blessing over your life or a mm -hmm. curse over your life. The mm. choice is yours. Up next is Girlfriend's Guide. It's Girlfriend's Guide, and honey, we've got a topic for you. So come on and join us. Get some wine, tea, whatever you get. So this one is one that everybody talks about but tries to avoid. Does age matter? Yes, <laughs> in a relationship. In... Yeah. Come on now. Let's to talk me, about it. Yes and no. Yes and no. Mm, to me, yes it does. No. Go ahead. Spell, girl. Yes and no. I think, you know... Age comes with maturity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it depends on the person, too. Mm -hmm. Well, as far as men, we know mature a lot Lace. slower, slower. <laughs> than women. I don't know so how if, God did that, but... <laughs> well, you know, we got to ask them when we get there. But I, I think it does matter. And then it doesn't matter. It mm -hmm. depends on the person's maturity level. Mm -hmm. I know they have the MILF and the, all the different names and all that foolishness. But my husband's younger than me. I mean, not significantly, but he's younger than me. Mm -hmm. And it works, mm -hmm. you know, and it works because his age is not a factor. Mm -hmm. I think it doesn't work when that person is just not mature enough, enough. if your relationship to handle it. And it, that takes a level of maturity. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it, it does. It depends, on, it depends on the situation, I think. Me being, me being 46. I think it depends. 46? Yeah, I, me yeah. being 46. Yeah. I don't know if I want to date a 30-year-old, honey. It depends on mm -mm. the situation. No, that's kind of, that's young. I don't want to date, I don't even know if you I want to date a 35 year old baby. That's young. So that's what I'm saying. I'm just mm -hmm. putting it out there. I don't even know if I want to date a 35 year old. Mm -hmm. um, maybe if he's close to 40, but then mm -hmm. I'd be looking at them 40 year old suspect too. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. and I'm just saying for me, I would just like an older man. I don't want a man that's mm -hmm. 60, um, but I would most definitely take More a guy that's in his, the well, same age we're all I confident am. Up, uh, yeah. We're all confident yeah. up here. I'm, I'm 33. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, I don't. You are baby. Yeah, I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't mind sharing my age. You know, mm -hmm. I, me. It it just depends. When it comes to age, it depends mm -hmm. uh, on the circumstance. If you're 18, mm -hmm. only thing we can do is have a good time. You know, and I'm just gonna <laughs> tell you the truth. It's you know, so don't take it's me yeah, there. Yeah, don't take true. me there. Hey, now come on, don't judge me. <laughs> if you're 18, we can have some fun. 21, we can have. Some, we can drink what and have it? some fun. What if it's a minute to 18? <laughs> 
18 and 30 seconds, we can have fun. <laughs> 21 and up, we can drink and have fun. Well, okay. But, yeah. but I don't, I don't, yeah. but when it comes to taking someone serious, um, I don't mm -hmm. think I should be with anybody that's under the age of 25, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And I, because I've, I've dated people that were a little older than me and they weren't mature. And, mm -hmm. and, and that was that part, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I, I don't mm. know. Um, well, with me, of course, I'm 37. I like my age, and I'm not embarrassed about it. Um, mm -hmm. My husband was 43 when he passed away, so our age mm -hmm. difference was not that much significant. Mm -hmm. But I liked it that way. Yeah, I, I've yeah, never years, dated so anybody younger than me, and I've never dated anybody older, older, older mm -hmm. than me. I, I think I, I like a balance. Um, would I try to date somebody younger? I don't know. You, ne you know, you never know. But I've always, since boys mature a little bit late, mm -hmm. I've always wanted to date somebody who's older a than me. Older. Whether it's mm -hmm. two years older or three years older, that's just been my preference. Now, when it comes to friendships, I've had friends who are older than me. Mm -hmm. I have people I call friends. They're older than me. They become sisters or whatever. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I've mm -hmm. learned a lot from them. Yep. I've had friends who are younger than me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and whatever I can do to help them get to it, to you know, you like can learn from them yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know. But I am 37 this year, and oh, I'm proud of that. So we got 37, nice. 33, 48, 48, very happy. Yes. And how old are you? Very happy. 46, 46 37, yeah. 46. All different so ages, according yeah. to the board. I, I mean, I am. I, I was, I, I never was embarrassed about my age. You ever since be. I was growing Why up. Why would you be? No, but you know how people used to what? stigmatize age thing where a woman mm -hmm. doesn't say their age, and I'm like, what is that supposed that's, to that's mean? That's back in. Girl, when you look at J-Lo and Naomi Campbell. Halle Berry, we just I can't at. wait to turn 50. Listen, yeah. I tell you. Like, they really look so, like, they make me look forward to it. Even, even looking mm -hmm. at Kim Kardashian. <laughs> they take care of themselves. Kim Kardashian's, what, 41 years old? And I'm like, dang, mm -hmm. like, I ain't even close to that yet. So it oh, gives that's me, right. I forget you. You in your 30s. It yeah. gives me something to look forward to. Mm -hmm. Because, and I look at them when they were in their 30s or in their 20s, they don't look as good as they do now. Yeah. So yeah. I'm yeah. My, daughter, my daughter told me I'm aging backwards. backwards. She told yes. myself mm -hmm. and showed my best friend that's like, Mom, mm -hmm. you're looking younger mm -hmm. as you get older. Yes. And I said, maybe because I don't have much stress. Mm -hmm. You know, you and your brother yeah. older, I'm at a better place in life. Yes. Yeah. You but, are aging younger. I yeah, mean, that's what it's like. I, I mean, I've, I've known you for a couple of years now, but I think it's like every year. No, it's about year. four now. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Four years, yes. Five, it's a, it's maybe. a couple of years. Couple. You know, there's there's couple people. to five. She made me so sick. There's people <laughs> younger than us that look a whole lot older because oh yes, uh, now. because oh, of the yes. way they live their lives. <laughs> Life baby, is, okay? a toll on you. I see some that I'm like, wow, you're twenty, twenty five. Yep. Yeah. No, oh my true. gosh! So it depends on how you live mm -hmm. and how you carry yourself. Because they look, mm -hmm. they look at us and they're like. I get that all the time. People, oh my people God. like, you're 33? I'm like, mm-hmm. You know what? I just don't want to take care of yourself. I shouldn't, even, I shouldn't have put you myself have in the limit. I don't want to date a man that's 35, 36, 37, mm -hmm. but I, I could date an older guy. Mm -hmm. But I was just thinking about it. I shouldn't even say that too old, but just come to me. And I'll, I'll determine. Tell me yeah, the age I, I, first. Yeah. I, that's what I'm saying. Don't so I don't think that no, young guys. Like, I kind of like young. Like, I kind of like that's more you. That's you, though. Yeah, because I'm young. It's a young but, yeah, So I, I still am. like, you Girl, know. Girl, you going to shake that bun out. I, it's okay. Somebody will come put it back together. <laughs> I, 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 I like to say, I don't know. Giselle, that's because you only in your 30s, honey. Yeah. I but don't want you know, no like, oh, young whippersnapper. Oh. But you know what? It's like you said, older and not mature. I'm yeah. dating yeah. older and they, they were, were the, the worst. worst. They immature. weren't mature in any <laughs> kind of way. And I think that's yeah. more of a turnoff than anything else. I want to feel young and stuff. And <laughs> That's not I mean, depending on who you're with. You gotta have fun. Well, I wanna have you fun. You can still have fun. You can have fun with the 50 year old. You can have fun with the older guy. Just you guys have a wheelchair. I'm just saying. If it's a 50 year old, okay, he better have some good credit because he's 50. So everything ought to be together by that time. Yeah. You can take me out. We can, you know. And he might be he doing the thing. Okay, no, no. Because I, no, we can't, we can't I, say I that women look good. I met a guy that was 50. 
Uh -huh. I met a guy in Atlanta that was 50 years old, and I did not know. Actually, he was 52. He was born in 1968. Oh, you didn't even know the year. Yes, because that's the year my mom was born. Oh, okay. But he mm. looked so good. I didn't know he was 52. I was like, he was just talking to me. I was like, well, how old are you? He's like, how old do you think I am? And it was something that just kind of made me look at him. I was like, you 50. Mm. And he was like... I, and he was like, yeah, but he said people don't usually guess his age. He looked so good. His body was together. Mm -hmm. Now, I would date him. Well, that's what I'm saying. Because he's youthful. Because women, that's we say women look great. Men look great at 50 and yeah. 52 yeah. and 55 mm -hmm. as well. So we have to do it both ways. But I don't want no big 50-year-old. I don't want to be extra weight. Oh, I want to be. I want to be. You don't no. want that. Oh. No, no, no. Big, but you don't even so want much. that in somebody younger. I'm talking about so you wouldn't want it in someone older. I'm talking older. about something else. So we both. You oh, she's talking about something mm. big. She's talking about the stomach. You were talking about. Oh. I see. I'm talking about the bank account. See? Uh, oh, how they mind in the door. I want to think bank account. I ain't thinking okay, about the that bank account. But listen, I think at 50, if your finances are not not in order. I don't want to date you. I have you. a problem exactly. dating because your finances are never mm -hmm. going to be in order. Mm -hmm. You can't train an old dog new tricks. Once a man hits 50, they're stuck in their ways. Oh, yeah. Oh. Say if at 50, your even finances 40s. are not in order. I don't even want to talk there to you. There's something wow. wrong with that whole situation mm -hmm. there. You know what I mean? I mean, not, not everything is money driven, but you get to a certain age where you want that financial stability because if I'm stable myself financially, Why would I'm I expecting have? you to be... be we can't start building credit I'm not at 50. You. Yeah, I said, yeah, I'm not dating no. you 50 and you got a uh, 450 credit score. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, no. <five>. Come on. <laughs> Come. Oh, I can't <laughs> date you at 50. I've said it before. I can't <sighs> date you at 50 and you're still staying in your mama's house. There. Well, that, why would you well, even take be, the that, number? Well, that would be different, though. We talked about that, too. But that would be different than staying in your mom's house if you're helping your parents or something like that. No. That's different circumstances, yeah. But, yeah, mm -mm. I Anywho. don't want you either. Mm. Anywho, I think we'll go with what Aaliyah said. Age ain't nothing but a number. Mm. Mm. Kelly said that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's, 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 who wrote, that's who wrote the song now. Come on. Go ahead. And he got numbers in jail. Again, I'll, I'll try again because Giselle is not agreeing with me. <laughs> but age ain't nothing but a number. Day whoever you fall in love with. That's all we have for today's show. I hope you liked it, and I hope you come back tomorrow and join us on Social Friday. Before I go, I have a quote for you guys, and this one is from Dr. Maya Angelo, and she says, what you're supposed to do when you don't like a thing is change it. Mm. If you can't change it, change the way you think about it. Don't just complain. Remember to leave love, love, and learn. That's all. Have a good day. Bye, y'all.